it's not just templates that you can add thanks to this tool. You can also add splash screens. Hey guys, this is a quick update video, which if you are Remarkable 2 owner, you probably want to watch. In my Remarkable review, I've praised the hardware, however, well, I was a bit harsh on the software. You can watch the review in here if you don't have a Remarkable and you want to find out what it's all about, but the chances are you already have a Remarkable device and you're interested in a custom templates. This is a great video for you then because I'm gonna tell you all about it. Recently uh, update dropped to Remarkable which enabled Google Drive which made me start well Google for things and I accidentally stumbled upon free Remarkable tools. And they they are free and not just they are free but they are also awesome. Now I knew from the beginning that you can actually hack this device and use some Linux magic to actually add custom templates and do a lot of different things. But, but considering that I spent a lot of money on this device and I'm not very Linux proficient, I was hesitating. Thankfully, the tool I'm about to show you, it makes it all way too easy. So check out the description of this video for the link to free remarkable tools and get started. The tool is available for Windows, Linux and Mac. Very nice. And it's very simple to use actually. First, you'll need a root password and you can obtain that by going to the device settings and then to help and then to the license option where the, the password is gonna be displayed in the bottom section of the page. Note it down because you're gonna need it to connect the device. I strongly recommend you to connect it via cable. It works via uh, Wi-Fi as well, but the connection is more stable via USB. That's the author's advice, and this is something I would stick to. Before you start messing about with everything, download all templates and save it. They're going to be saved in a folder in the installation directory. Now that you have your backup and nothing's going to be lost, then you can start tinkering around. If you want to add custom templates, there are two ways about it. You can head to community tab and take a look what other members have created. So you can select the template and simply drop it to the rooster of active templates and upload it. Here's a small catch. While you can add the custom name to your template, you won't be able to create a custom thumbnail for this template in a selection menu. But don't worry. Once your template is used as a notebook, it's actually going to show you correct preview. Thankfully, you can customize the name, so despite having a limited options for the thumbnails, you'll be able to recognize your tem uh, template thanks to the custom name. And it will obviously work like any other custom template uh, by uh, selecting the template menu or layer menu and swapping it around. Now, the second option is to make your own from scratch, and this is something I did. This is probably something you're gonna do because, well, custom is the way to go. As you can see, I've got a nice template in here, which is for my video work for the Not Enough Tech. Now, I offset this template slightly to the left by 115 pixels because I hate when the uh, sidebar is actually colliding with my template, something you probably want to keep in mind. Now, you can create your own template in any um, software like Photoshop, GIMP, etc. As long as you've got access to layers, it shouldn't be a problem. I would strongly recommend you to probably export these as a PNG, even though the remarkable free tools, uh, they have support for more than one format. It is my personal preference to set all the bounding boxes and checkboxes to 50% opacity because they create that nice look and all the text to 100%, but obviously that's going to be down to you and what you think is appropriate for your scenario. Once the template is created, simply add new template to Rooster, drop, drag and drop the file onto its place, rename it, set the thumbnail and orientation and also different tags or menus, and upload your template. All it's left to do is just to restart the device and you will see your template being available for use. Awesome! But looking around the software itself, you'll quickly notice it's not just all about templates. You can also customize the splash screens, 
which includes the suspense screen, uh, the automatic sleep, and also boot splash screen. So if you truly want to customize your device, go ahead. It is super simple. Create the appropriate image with the correct resolution and drop it onto the category that you wish to update. And don't worry, the software will actually save these files and the previously used files in a selection history so you can pick between the ones you've created earlier and change them as you wish. Additional options in the software include the syncing of your documents, so you don't have to use Remarkable software, providing you will authorize Remarkable account at least once. And you can even set different colors for your pens. That is, once you download them on your computer, obviously all colors in here will be still grayscale. There's no way around this. All the interesting options allow you to uh, customize the list of frequently used emails, or even print directly from the Remarkable to your network printer. I've been using this tool on the latest edition of the Remarkable software in beta, the one that introduced Google Drive and Dropbox. You can watch more about it in this video. So, so far, no problem. I had a one instant when the Remarkable would hang on me, but you can solve it by hard resetting. In case you're wondering how to hard reset the device, Hold the button, power button for 15 seconds, let it go for five, and then press it down for two seconds to power on as normal. That's it, that solved my problem. And ever since, the Remarkable is acting perfectly. And I have to say, at this point, I have all tools I wanted. Now, if only Remarkable people would hire this guy and enable this tool for the usual Remarkable Sync software, that'd be awesome. Right, that's pretty much everything you need to know to start customizing your Remarkable in a safe way. If you like the software, consider donating to Ronald's website so he could continue development in his spare time. As for now guys, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in what I'm going to find out next, you know how YouTube works. I'm not going to explain you that. I'm going to mention my social links are listed right now below and, well, pick one, engage in conversation, let me know what you're thinking, because I do care. As for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.